Right, because I think I said one to four, didn't I? I just realized that. You know what? No, I said one to four. That's Vermont is one to four. Um, so, yeah, I think I knew this was going to go till... Anyway, I think I was confused when I talked with you about it earlier, unfortunately. But the point is, I, I think I said I'd be home like by eight, hopefully. So... Well, it's going to be late, honey. I'm sorry, but I'm glad we had the time today, and I'm glad you relaxed. Oh, I would thank you very much. I'll come in. I'll call you. Apparently, this hearing will go. But I'm not entirely sure, but let's say it goes from. It's been more than 20 years since that highway come around. The deer don't come around. Thank you. We're Scotsmen, so we get a stake in this thing ourselves. If, the, if it goes through the center of a road, it will be taking a large piece of our farm away. So we've been growing vegetables for three generations, so we're here to talk about it. This song was written about what it would be like if the highway actually does go through, and we'll be wishing that we could. We've been requested to pivot a little bit here. Not so hard, it just had to readjust. Check this. Statewide coalition to oppose the East West Corridor project, and the name of that coalition is Stop the East West Corridor. Um, please share your thoughts about the project. Thank you. Hey, hey. Louder. Louder. Oh, I'll do my best. You start me over, Charlie MacArthur, from the area. I'm wearing noise-canceling earphones today. They're really great because you can hear loons, but you can't hear diesels. They sound, uh, cut out the sound of gunfire, even. And I don't think we need that. At any rate, uh, these may be what Mainers wear in the summer for recreational gear, the same way that people in Florida wear sunglasses. You have to protect yourself from the environment. 
didn't need to be that way, but it looks like they're trying like hell to make it that way. Thank you. Okay, the next person we have up will be Dave Finley. Hey, what are you doing? Hello. My name is David Lee Finley. And I was born at the Mayo Hospital just down the street. That was 1946. I graduated from Foxcroft Academy in 1965. I am now retired and living right here in my hometown. You can learn a lot by listening to what's not being said about this private road building enterprise. Myself, I'm concerned about the wetlands and the headwaters of most of our state's rivers. I'm concerned about living life the way it should be, just how the welcome sign says when you come into the state. I care deeply about our mountains, forests, lakes, and streams. I can throw a baseball from my front yard into the Piscataquis River. I live right down here in the village. Most people of Maine feel the same way. All along this proposed corridor, people in Nuts Forest will not recover in my lifetime. Questions. Why does this private joint venture have to have mineral rights? Why do bottling companies want the rights of pure main water for exporting to other countries. The Far East <laughs> needs wood products. Well, we have a wood mill right here in Dover Foxcroft, but most of their material go down I-95 to the eastern seaboard. It's for new home construction and hurricane preparedness, just to name a few things. Why do oil companies want to frack the land and refine oil for exporting? Don't we want to support our own future energy needs? We are painted as the sentimental environmental extremists out here in the hollow middle on the road to nowhere. Well, that's not me. We are just people tending our farms and gardens, going to work where we can find it, and we don't want our way of life to be wiped out by one giant footstep. We really like being known as vacation land. Big business is planning to cut across the Appalachian Trail. Really, the Appalachian Trail? It's very hard to look at this and not see how the dots begin to connect. Not see who benefits. Big benefits. And big business benefits, not Maine. Thank you. Jean. Farm. I've been intending to sign up with you. That is a really good idea. Community sustainable agriculture. So I guess we don't need a highway through yours. We don't need a highway through the Knowlton Mills Cemetery where my cousin's grandparents are buried. We just don't need it. We're working towards rail and, and self-sufficiency and uh, I won't take up uh, any more of your time because I know everyone's prepared with things to say. So that's it. I'll stay with it until we stop it. Yeah, they're from all over the place. Got a list of a few other 